Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about surface anatomy of cervical vertebrae. We can do surface marking of cervical vertebrae either from behind or from side of neck. In this image, you can see this is typical cervical vertebra in which this is the body. These are transverse process on each side and this is the spine. This spine can be palpated from behind and transverse process can be palpated from side of the neck. In this image, you can see first cervical vertebra which is devoid of body and spine as well. In this image, you can see the seven cervical vertebra. This vertebra has a large spine. For palpation of cervical vertebrae from behind, you need to stand behind the patient. After this, place your both thumb on occipital bone and slide down your thumbs. At the lower end of occipital bone, you will feel a sudden depression on median plane. This is atlas vertebra because atlas doesn't have any spinous process. When you slide down your thumbs, you will feel a spine of C2 vertebra. Mark a point here. With this technique, you can count for the vertebrae also. You can count vertebrae from down to up also by placing two thumbs below the base of neck at the median plane and sliding up your thumbs. When you reach the base of neck, you will feel a prominent spine. This is spine of the C7 vertebra. Mark a point here. After this, you can palpate and mark other vertebrae also like C6, C5 and all. We can count vertebrae from side also. So here you can see this is lobule of auricle. This is angle of mandible. This is ramus of mandible. And this is prominence of sternocleidomastoid muscle. When you palpate upper part of neck deep to lobule just behind the ramus of mandible, you will feel a bony prominence here. This is transverse process of atlas vertebra. When you move your finger down, you will feel transverse process of C2 vertebra just behind the angle of mandible. When you move down your finger, you can palpate transverse process of C3 vertebra also. But from C4 vertebra, this transverse process is very hard to palpate because overlapping of muscles. One more point here, when you palpate anterior median plane of neck at the level of C3 vertebra, you will feel a bony prominence that is hyoid bone. And at the level of C4 and C5, you can mark thyroid cartilage. And at the level of C6, you can feel cricoid cartilage. Thanks for watching.